here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you a real cool paint stripping trick that works really well and that uses water instead of like sandpaper or like a chemical stripper. So check this out. This is really cool. All right, so let me show you a cool little paint stripping trick that actually works really well. Now let's say you bought an old piece of furniture, you want to refinish it, and the person before you just went through and uh, painted over the hardware, and you're not sure if it was spray painted, like I did these with the blue, or if it was just a really bad paint job, with some globbed on, like regular wall paint or whatever. So you have no idea what's on there, and you don't want to sit there for an hour or two with a piece of sandpaper and steel wool, trying to sand it out, all the little nooks and crannies, and you know, I mean, you can see how rough that is. That would take a lot of sanding to get that looking good. And also, if you're like me, you don't really like messing with a paint stripper unless you absolutely have to because it's just so smelly and it burns and it's just extremely messy. Pretty gross to work with. So anyway, I found another trick that works really well. You just got to have a little time on your hands. All right, so all you have to do is gather all of your hardware and drop them in an old crock pot full of water. Now, obviously, you don't want to use a new crock pot. So either an old one like this one. Uh, that I had in my workshop for things like this, or you could even find one at a thrift store or a yard sale, or whatever. But anyway, just drop them in the water, crank it on high, put the lid on there, and let it go for a few hours. And uh, you just want to check it every couple hours, maybe about every two or three hours, check it. And I notice it probably takes at least oh five, six, seven hours. You'll notice it start getting soft. And uh, basically, you can just start working on the rest of the furniture project and uh, let these just boil the paint off. And uh, what happens is it'll eventually get soft enough, the water, you know, basically be boiling. So just grab a pair of pliers, pull one out, and you should be able to take like your fingernail to it. And it'll just, I mean, strip off real easy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just let them go for five, six hours, something like that. And uh, check them, and then the paint will come off real easy. So I'll go ahead and boil these, and then I'll show you what it actually looks like when they're ready to go. All right, so they've been boiling now for about six or seven hours, and they're ready to go. So let me show you, it comes off pretty easy. All right, here's one of them that just had the brushed on like regular house paint. And you can see how it just comes off like in a gummy, you know what I mean, just peels right off. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, regular paint stripper, but not near as messy. You know, there's not all the goopiness to it. It actually just peels right off. And uh, I mean, if you need to get into little crevices and all that, you can just use like a toothbrush to get to it. All right, so let me show you now the one that had the spray paint. I'll show you how it works. Now, you'd think that with spray paint being water, it wouldn't affect it because, you know, usually you need, like, paint thinner or something like that. But it just boiled it hot enough that, I mean, it just comes right off as well. It actually kind of comes off a little easier. So, uh, I mean, all you got to do is you can wipe it with your fingers. Again, you can use the toothbrush and just wipe it all off. You could use a little still wool if you needed to, but it's way easier than just trying to do it dry. All right, so I mean that's coming off pretty easy right there. It's peeled right off and you got a nice clean surface. So let me mess with this one a little more. Just kind of show you what it'll do. All right, I'll do the bigger white one. I'll show you that. Oh yeah, I mean just comes off in a huge sheet. So Pretty awesome. So there you go. That's a cool little trick to take the paint off old hardware like that. It's a lot easier and uh, not quite as messy as like using uh, sandpaper or paint stripper and all that. And uh, I mean, it's pretty much hands-free. Pop them in the uh, crock pot, let them go, work on something else. When you come back, it'll take maybe five, ten minutes and they're totally clean. So there you go. Pretty cool little trick.